Hi guys, welcome back to Determined to Praise. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed last week's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the last two months of, you know, all the questions, the Q and A's, because it was really, really fun for me. I really hope that it, it really just kind of um motivated you guys and let you know that you guys aren't alone and that God works through everybody differently. So as I talked about in my last video, um, for this month, um, I feel like the theme I want to name the theme faith over fear um especially as we leave this year to go into a new year um i feel like it's very important for us to begin to focus our minds to trust in god trust in him and trust in what he's placed in us um because we allow fear to creep in so much and Excuse my lip, I get cold sores. If anybody is wondering why my lip looks like that, <laughs> I hate these. I'm getting them all my life. But um, anyway, um, trusting in God, you know, through the good times, through the bad times, through the hard times, through the times where it seems impossible. So for today, what I'm going to talk about specifically is you matter. But we're going to start off with faith over fear. So what I did was I wrote down the definition of faith. The definition of faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Fear to be afraid, an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous. If we're really truly honest about things that go on in our lives, majority of the time we doubt and we fear. And because we doubt and we fear, now we doubt God. And it's no reason to doubt God because he's always been who he is. He's always came through for us when we needed him to. He's always there. He always makes a way out of no way. Nothing changes about him. What happens is we get fearful because of the way a situation looks or because of how it feels or because of what we think is going to happen if we try something. And then it causes us to doubt and to step back. And so stepping in to this new year, walking into the new year, stepping out of this year and into something new, what we're going to do is begin to trust God more and stop doubting him. And so I feel like one of the most important things is to understand is that you matter. You matter. We all matter. We are all important people. Each person individually has a purpose. God has a purpose and a plan and a will for your life. He didn't just create you because it was just something fun to do. There's a reason why you're here. It's not by mistake. It's not by accident. And so I need you guys to understand that you matter, that we all matter. You play an important role in this life. And I don't want you to doubt who you are or doubt what God has called you to do because of who you are, what you see when you look in the mirror, because of things you've done in your past, because none of that matters. It does not matter. You forget, for one, we serve a God who forgives, a God who forgives, a God who loves. Even if you aren't capable of forgiving yourself, know that God has forgiven you. So you don't have to carry the burdens of being frustrated or being disappointed in yourself for something that you might have done in the past. We've all have a background. We all have a history. We've all have done something that we may be ashamed of. But it's okay. Who are we to judge? We're all imperfect people. Just know that God is with you and God loves you. But you are important. You matter. Your your role in God's kingdom matters. You know, it's crazy because we look at life and if you really realize things, all of the really historical things that happened, it took place because someone cared enough to make it happen, right? What happens if you're that person to make a difference? You look at yourself and you go, it can't be me. Why would it be me? How could it be me? Why should it be me? I'm nobody. I'm just, who am I? I'm just this regular person. I don't do anything special. There's nothing cool and unique about me. And there's nothing this. And, and I don't do all this. And I didn't go to school for that. Who cares? Who asked you any of that? God didn't say any. He didn't ask any of that. None of that. If God has called you to do something, it's because it's already inside of you. It's not anything that you have to go searching for. It's not something that someone else needs to approve. It's not something that someone else needs to accept because if God said yes, then it's a yes, regardless of what anyone else has to say. So know that you matter. Your decisions matter. Your yes and no's matter. Your obedience to God matters. It all matters. Don't feel like it doesn't matter if I do this. It don't matter if I do that. Who cares? Who's thinking about me? Who's worried about me? God is. God's worried about you. God cares about you. You matter to him and your decisions matter to him. It's like 
we 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 look at ourselves and we see like you know this little thing but that little thing is a part of a giant puzzle piece we matter we're important and our decisions matter so i wrote down a couple things um the one thing i wrote down is that god loves everyone all people are important to him. You may feel unloved, unimportant in the eyes of the world, but in heaven's eyes, you are valuable to Christ. And that's why he died for you. That's the one thing. That's something else. Hold on, give me one second because I dropped it. <laughs> the other thing I wrote down is, like I said, everything that you do matters. I know you're tired. I know you're overwhelmed. I know you're stressed. I know you're wondering if what you do matters. I know you're wondering that if you stop doing what it is that you're doing, would anybody care? But you are an important part of the kingdom. Your role is necessary and your role is needed. Okay, think about it this way. You got the hospital, right? Well, the hospital can't run without having the doctors and the nurses and residents and, you know, CNAs and all of that, right? But in order for them to even have a job, they have to have patients in the first place. Everything helps make the next thing work so it doesn't matter what you're doing it could be something as little as making a meal for someone holding the door open for someone praying for someone saying hi good morning to someone who's having a bad day it doesn't matter nothing is too small in the kingdom of god nothing is irrelevant nothing is so tiny that it doesn't matter no everybody's role it matters everything is necessary everything you do is necessary so i just want to encourage you guys so for one and i i know I'm talking a lot, but I just feel like it's important for us to know that we're important. You're not just some random person that just fell off. The, like you're you're here for a reason. There's purpose in you. There's something in you that God needs to use. There's something in you that people need to hear, that people need to see. So don't look at yourself as irrelevant because you're not. You're far, far, far from it. Look at Mary, for instance. I'm sure that when the angel appeared to her and was like, yeah, you know, you're going to give birth to a, to a king. Like what? Me? You sure me? Like, imperfect me? Why would I, you know, what would have happened if she would have said no to that? If she just would have been like, oh, I'm not doing it. What would have happened if Jesus would have been like, die on this cross for people who aren't going to care later? No, I'm good. Because you have to understand the big picture here. The big picture is that it's not about you. It's not about you. It's about doing God's work. It's about bringing people to Jesus. It's about doing his will. It's about the big picture. It's about helping save other souls. The things that you do aren't just for you. It's for the next person. It's for someone else. It's a blessing for someone else. Even the things that you go through, those testimonies that you have of all the stuff that you've been through in life that just wasn't fair, that's to help the next person because someone else has been through that and they're going through that and they don't know how to get through it. But you can sit down and talk with them and let them know how you got through it and let them know that God carried you so that even though right now it's not looking too good and you don't look like you're going to make it through, everything is going to be okay because if God did it for me, he can do it for you too. Know that you matter and that you're important in this world. You're an important part of the kingdom. Everything together makes things work. Nothing is just here working by itself. We need pieces. We need people to push and pull and help us move and get this train going. So really, really, I hope that you guys stay encouraged and just continue to trust in God and know, know, know that you matter, that you're important. You're not just here for no reason. Um... And for those of you that just may feel like, like I said earlier, that you're just doing stuff and it doesn't matter, I wrote down a Bible scripture that I hope helps. Um, and let us not be worried. Let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we if we faint not. That's Galatians six and nine. I'm sure you guys heard that one before, but it's one of my favorites because at the end of the day, this. It's not easy, you know? You get days where you're just tired and frustrated. There's so many times I can name over and over again where I feel like I've done something and it didn't matter or I was wasting my time. It was like, I'm not even about to do this. Like, I'm about to quit. But, you know, God always shows up in the nick of time to show you that something you do matters. You know, it's like, okay, for instance, working with my son, you know, my son is disabled. So when he was a baby, it was a lot of things that he wasn't able to do. But I never stopped trying to help him because I figured one day he'll be able to do it. It's okay. We're working on this. We're working on him grabbing that stuff. And we're working on him sitting up a little bit. And we're working on this and we're working on that. And the more you work, the more that it you develop 
the skills because you were consistent with working with it. But had we not took time to make sure he went to therapy and make sure he got the different things that he needed, all the different equipment, it would have been impossible for him to continue to grow. Even though looking at the situation, it didn't look like anything was changing. We can see now, four years later, that there's a big change because now he's trying to talk. Now he's trying to walk. Now he's grabbing at things. Now he's doing this, things that four years ago, it didn't look like it was physically possible. But now it's happening. So try not to look at the situation try to see the big picture and the big picture is sometimes things are going to take a while there's going to be a length there's going to be a weight but in that weight trust in god and know that he hears you and that he's working you're not working just to be doing it your labor isn't in vain everything that you do matters and it's going to show is you, you planting the seeds and they're going to grow and it's going to be a big beautiful garden you're going to see it you're going to reap it you just have to stay strong and keep pushing and continue to trust god and know that you matter know that everything that you do matters your yeses to god matters your no's to god matter everything those that obedience it matters because the obedience leads to something else it's not just something for you to randomly do in the middle of the day because god is bored it leads to something else it's something that someone else needs there's a person who needs you, there's a person who needs to say your face, who needs to hear your voice, who needs to hear something you had to say, who just needed a smile to make their day go a little bit better. So it, it matters, everything matters, it matters, it matters. We're a part of a big puzzle and it matters. In order for us to get the whole puzzle together, we need everybody to come together and put it, all the pieces in the right spots. So even if you're somewhere and you feel like what you do is very little and very irrelevant, I'm telling you now that it's relevant. I'm telling you now that it matters, that it's important, and that God sees it. So if no one else says, good job, bravo, I'm telling you, good job, bravo. And God is saying that God sees all, and he knows all. He knows our hearts, and he understands that we are trying our best. So don't beat yourself up for falling short. Don't beat yourself up for wanting to give up. It happens. Just keep getting up and keep pushing. Keep getting up and keep pushing because you're going to get there. You're going to get to the finish line. You're going to get to see all the harvest of what you've been doing. You're going to get to see it. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be great. So please continue to just stay encouraged. Continue to trust God. Faith over fear faith over fear we have to see the victory even if you don't feel like it's coming even if you don't understand how it's going to happen know that it's going to happen and it's coming and it's going to be big and it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be worth the wait it's going to be worth the time that you sat there working on it it's going to be worth it and it's going to be so beautiful so don't give up don't doubt trust in god believe in him know that he hears and he sees all and that you matter to him you were so important to him you were so loved by him he loves you so much. And I wrote down another scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that everyone who believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. That right there says enough. Because I don't know who, I don't know nobody on this earth. Enough to, I'm not giving away my son. I'm not doing it. And I don't know anybody on this earth who would give away their son to save the world. I don't know a son who would be willing to give up his life for the world. No. <laughs> no, I'm good. I, I pass. No, I'm okay. But they loved us enough to do. That's a, that's a huge sacrifice. That's a huge sacrifice. So you're here for a reason. God said sacrifice Jesus for a reason. Jesus sacrificed his life for a reason. It wasn't a coincidence. It wasn't by accident. It wasn't just something to do. He did it because he loved you. So know that your love, that God is watching over you, that he's going to continue to protect you and he's going to continue to preserve you. And everything is going to be okay. It's going to work itself out. Everything will work out exactly the way God planned it to. So trust in him. Faith over fear. Faith over fear. And you matter. You matter. You matter. You matter. What you do matters. You're important. A very valuable piece of the puzzle that is needed to create God's kingdom. So please keep that in mind as you're doing things and making decisions. Just know that God is watching over you and that you matter. You matter. You're so important to him. I pray that you guys enjoyed this message. I really hope that it encourages you guys and that you guys stay strong as we exit 2022 and enter 2023. We're going going strong minds, steady, stable, unshakable, unmovable, and focused on God and what he's called us to do. So let's... 
focus our minds, focus our spirits, and trust in him and know that he's got us. So, I, like I said, I'm really excited for this month. I really just want to help encourage you guys and encourage myself <laughs> as I'm doing it because, like I said, this, this isn't an easy thing to do. But we just have to trust God and know that he's got our back. We have to know that his plan is going to work and that we don't have to stress and worry. We're human beings and we have emotions, so we're going to do things and we're going to worry. I get it, but we, we have to go, you know what? I'm not going to do this because God has me. You know what? We're not going to stress and worry this time because God's got it under control. I trust him. I know he's got me. He's kept me this far. He's not going to leave me now. So trust in him and know that he's with you every step of the way. Everything's going to be fine. Faith over fear. Faith over fear. And you matter. You matter. You're important. A very, very important part of this kingdom you play a very, 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 very important role. It's needed. It's necessary. You are necessary. Your voice is necessary. Your life is necessary. What you're doing for God is necessary. It's necessary and it's needed. So please continue to push. I don't care what it is that you're doing. It's important. It matters. Push, push and trust God. I love you guys. I pray that you guys enjoyed this message. Please continue to stay encouraged. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Have a blessed week and continue to trust God.